So, last qualifying of the day, as the sun went down, it got a little bit colder. The track was really, really good. They prepped it right before the last qualifying of the day. And, um, well, everything and everybody's happy, but right now I don't really care because I got my seven. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh, I got it barely! Yeah, man! Let's go! it through to a 760 at 190. So Kevin Stowe will knock Billy Massingale out of the number eight spot and down to number nine. So we have two customers who are both from Florida. Um, one's name is Kevin and one's name is Tony. You guys may know them if, again if you follow us. Those two, um, they're not rivals, but they're rivals, right? One has always got to one-up one up the other, and uh, they just have a really good time. When we're at the track together, they're always betting about who's going to red light, who's got the fastest, fastest um, uh, light, you know, reaction time, excuse me, the ETs, mile and hours. They're just, they're always betting little $100 bets, $50 bets, and having a good time. So, this event, Tony decided that he was going to highly modify his car and not tell Kevin which is very rare because usually they share everything to the point where they share invoices and they make me give them each the same pricing, which is bull, bull crap, guys. You're not allowed to do that. If I give one of you a discount, I have to give you the other one a discount, whatever. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into that, but they share everything. They, every, they know everything about each other's cars, but this event from uh, GTR World Cup, or DCT World Cup until now, we have managed to keep it a complete secret from Kevin, their best buds, that we ripped Tony's motor out and did a full motor build on his R8 with 76 millimeter turbos and it's going to make, I don't know, 2,000 horsepower. And the rivalry is between him and the STO. Well, Kevin did an upgrade on his STO but didn't build the motor quite yet because there was not enough time. So it's a big rivalry. I was going to put like plausible deniability because I think Kevin's gonna be pissed. I was gonna say I didn't even know, but this video now rats me out because I think it's funny. It's not funny. I think it's hilarious that they have that level of competition and it's just, it's great. Um, and it's really fun to actually watch them and hang out with them and be part of the, the back and forth. It's really enjoyable, honestly. So anyway, Tony is here with his family 
Kevin is about to be here. We're probably going to do a little video about this because it's just, it's, it's a pretty funny thing, a pretty big deal. Um, and I'm excited about it. So, roll racing eliminations was today. We, uh, we came, we saw, Jan conquered. <laughs> um, four years in a row, Jan has won his class in the roll race here at Texas 2K. Um, he is definitely, I think, probably the longest standing champion of, of Texas uh, when it comes to the roll. So, we'll see if he can back up the back-to-back -back roll and drag wins uh, as the weekend continues. But, he raced, uh, uh, Tony the first round and beat Tony him and Tony 
um, almost came to fake fist fight blows because Tony thought that Jan slung shot him and Jan said that he went on green and it was pretty funny. They're, they're like super, super great buddies, but they were, <laughs> they were definitely a little heated about it. Very competitive people. So um, really just wanted to do a short little update so everybody knew what was going on, who won, who lost, and, um, and yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a real good day. So looking forward to tomorrow. What is going on? We're setting up our bet. <laughs> and there's too many, so like, you know, people people like to talk and then forget, so like. I like that Crystal's doing it because she's got the best yeah, handwriting. Yeah, none of us, you would be on. It would be like, you wouldn't, yeah, 100%, I get it. We'd have to get the uh, the HKS guys over here to read it because it'd be Japanese, right? <laughs> All right. Any red light cost 20 bucks. Well, I gotta get over this, this is amazing. Alright, uh, and then final one right now is SEO against RA, first seven. You should add a bet that says, um, by the end of it, if, if all the money goes to Henry. <laughs> yeah, so I owe $5. Can I get a little montage of it? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Time for that seven. <laughs> Good stuff. Well deserved. Well deserved.
got it done. I, I, I got out there. I couldn't see it. You couldn't read it. No. Is it? Is it? There's no lights. <laughs> In disbelief. Uh, cool. uh, All right. Good yeah. path. Yeah. yeah, it scared me because I, when I took off, I, I couldn't tell if it was uh, bouncing or spinning. Oh, yeah, or a little what. bit of oil. Oh, the track's pretty tight right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hold on to that. Hold on to that one. Seven, nine, eight. Hey. 179. Yeah, yeah, no, that one's strong. What was the fix? 135. It was just, it was just coming down on the launch target. But yeah. I sat there and sat. I wasn't even worried about it. Yeah. I'll take it. 770. Wow. Yeah. Another seven? Yeah. Just a competition. Oh. The guy just brought this to me. Oh, that's awesome. So he took it last year. That's really last year? Yeah. Oh, that's too cool. I put it in the truck. You backed up the 790. Yeah, I know. There it is. I sat at the freaking light. Uh, it, no, it's all right. It's all right. We got more to go. Yeah, I didn't. It's time to go 780s. <laughs> 792. That's, at least that backs it up nice. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, I sat. He was already moving out of there before he even let go. Yeah, he staged first. That's the whole. That, I guess that's the whole deal with the pro tree, right? Well, GTR's pro trees are tough. Yeah. Are There's no not. bumping. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, we got another. Hell yeah. So we're excited about rolling into drag racing. Uh, hopefully the weather kind of clears up here. It was actually sleeting this morning, which is not a great sign. Um, if you guys also, if you don't know, uh, drag racing in the snow, not recommended, uh, unless you're on a sled, uh, which we're not. So hopefully uh, Jason Miller and the, prep, the track guys can do some magic out here and get us ready to rock and roll. Yeah, no, it's not luck. Uh, he's just good. I mean, that's really the bottom line. You win it once, could be luck. Win it twice in a row, that's pretty lucky. Four times in a row, that's just good.
just sprinted from the car. You got the video of him sprinting? Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Thank God you got that. This thing was so laggy, I'm turning on. You guys are adorable. time racing a GTR really? ever. Second time on a track. Wow, ever. that was incredible. Ever. That was a great run, guys. Uh, it looked close. I think it was only oh, yeah. with .063. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it was close. Yeah. Like, awesome. I think that right pound right and right. a half I needed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was awesome. Heavy. <laughs> I don't know. If, I'm gonna have to definitely build some BP shells for this one. <laughs> man, that's awesome. It's cold too. It feels good. I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Man. Let's do some photos with it. event that Victor is putting on. It has been an absolutely awesome event. Two-day event, all drag racing. We only brought down three cars. We've got Tony's R8 that we brought, uh, Kevin's STO, and Kevin's GTR. Um, these kind of crazy guys, you guys have heard me say this before, but these guys enter multiple classes per event. And then when they come through, it's like, okay, my next class is going up. It doesn't, so like normally like you have like rounds to get in between two rounds of your class, you can like water the car you know, or ice the car down, change the map, make sure, pull the log, check everything. No, no, it's like double time that for these guys. Tony is R8, like rounds for two days. He did go, he did get his seven second pass, which was super. second pass which we're super super proud of and we're just dialing in that car's got big turbos lower compression so we're just dialing that car in figuring out how to roll it out figuring out how much it'll take in second gear without lifting the front tire off the ground and just dialing the whole car in it's been really
listen, this car is absolutely amazing. It is what I would call a one of one, I believe. Uh, it's been custom painted from the factory. He could probably tell you a little bit more about it, but it's definitely something that is very, very unique. Um, so we nicknamed this project Project Delta because it was uh, it's more of a, a special forces type of scenario. And then we did the coloring on the car, again, for the car and for the client to just flow with the car, the interior of the car, uh, the exterior of the car. As you can see, we did the beadlock rings in the rear to be able to match the color gradient in the rear. And then in the front, we stuck with a, a full clean black to be able to just kind of flow with the front of the car. And then as you'll see in this video, I'm sure he'll overlay some of these, these bead rolls. We did the entire engine compartment very similar in earth tones, browns, greens, uh, to go along with the project and exactly how we wanted it to feel. Uh, the turbo kit is done by our manufacturing partner ETS, just like all the other turbo kits that we do on the V10s. Um, it is a very, very awesome, high flowing intercoolers work incredibly. You got a front tank uh, for your ice as well. If you're going to go race the car, ice the, ice the car down. That also helps just take, keep the intake air temperatures down no matter what versus the, the tank in the rear. We do have options for both with this particular car. We want it to, to be fast, so, so we put that front tank in there. Anyway, check it out. We're excited for more. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to y'all soon. Look at my eyes, tell me your tail, do you see the road? I'm out to my soul, tell me the size. Whenever the smoke clear out of my face, and my picture perfect, do I look fried? All of that green and yellow that drift in your eyes is telling. Tell your demise, I'm with to my side to push back the ceiling and push back the feelings I had to decide. I repay them nights and right by my side, all I see is the sea. Yeah, people that ride me, if they just knew what Scotty would do to jump out of stage and say I'm a child. If these are created, but can't the most way that I gotta find balance and keep me a smile. Yeah, yeah, that shit wild instead of me here. I took it for zero. The flame you saying, I read it for miles. The shit wasn't luck. They got me for up. I'll put you on bus and take you around. With a couple of guys inside of the school. I gave them the tools to get it off the ground. They say they're the ones when they make their ears can't look in the mirror. That shit wild. I stand on the stage. I give them the rage. I'm turning it down. Can't take it. Can't We do in the streets. We do it for keys. We do it for rights. I'm 52 weeks. This shit ain't for pleasure. I'm coming to tweak. This shit is for me. If it ain't no better, you ain't ready to rap it around. I take it. I took the piece by the grip on it. I made it out of the reach. Bought a couple more wins because I needed more sweet. Bought a couple more watches. I needed more time. Damn, bought a condo. This facility, this track is absolutely awesome. This runway is super grippy. And uh, every single year we come here, we just enjoy it. The, the, um, the ramp here is huge. Uh, just really, really nice facility. So there's your update. We're gonna turn the thing up to probably 26 pounds on the next pass. 
see how it does. One camera is on me for YouTube, so that's gonna be for later, and then one is for the uh, Instagram for right now. We'll keep on going, doing updates throughout the day, all right? You guys enjoy.
All right, guys. I'm just holding this thing because I don't have the energy to stuff it up underneath my shirt right now. It is Sunday night, Florida 2K. It's a wrap. Uh, camp is all packed up. Dr. Dorsick just went to the finals. Um, we turned his car down a little bit so that he could run the, basically it was an 8-1 class. He, he would break out if he went faster than 8-1. And, um, and he lifted at the end and the car drove by him. So he, he missed out on, on the win. Well, still got P2, still in the money. That's good. Uh, him and I ran in the semifinals and I broke out on purpose in the R8. Not so that he could win, but just because I cared about the time more. Uh, the R8, big news, went 7.53 at 197, I believe. My brain is mush. Um, man, I'm super proud of that. Thank you for everybody that supported my team. Appreciate Zona Rotor for coming through with those turbos. Um, they really worked really well. Now we need bigger ones. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, really, really proud of that car. I think it's been taking a beating the last little while, a half mile, quarter miles. It's awesome. Hey guys, we are out here at Street Kings in Bradenton at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Eight cars at, at uh, the TRC Street Kings event here in Bradenton. But that's the nice thing about being 30 minutes away. Our new shop in Florida is only 30 minutes from here. We can come down. If we need anything, we get to go back. We've got a, a great local group of people down here that love racing, that are our clients, and we get to just come out here and support them. And then. All my staff gets to go home and sleep in their own beds. We're doing roll racing right now. Everybody's going out, I think, for their second round. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but we'll keep on updating you, maybe throw a couple of things on Instagram. Appreciate you guys keeping up. We're gonna do drag racing tomorrow. If it doesn't rain, if it does rain, well, I don't know, we'll probably go treat tequila it by the water somewhere. All right, see y'all.
honest with you, like I was like, when the car came up, I was like, don't panic, just pedal it, pedal it, pedal it, right? And then it went, bang! I just pretty much went, right? And did you see it go up and down? Oh, yeah. It wouldn't come down. And then it went higher, and I was like, oh, then it hit, then it hit, because he's like, he's like, you keep lifting. I mean, don't me! I mean, I can tell me! I've been down that path before. <laughs> I'm like, I'll put this bitch in the wall before I lift. I ain't getting that, that conversation ever again. And the last... And the, and the last... That's all that really matters. Uh, that, you know, we're not we're not real big into like the he said she said. You know, colliding. We just we don't care. We had a good time. Everybody had a good time. Then we went drag racing, right? As, as the announcer says, as, as the Lord intended, if you will. 